17 pounds, nine ounces. Food, water, everything, winter gear. Not bad at all. Cut down on some of the luxuries and stuff because I fit all my winter loadout into my new 35 liter pack here. Ditch some things like the chair. I didn't bring the chair, I just brought a little sit pad, which I'll probably regret, but oh well. I can't believe this is 35 or 17 pounds. That's insane. That is insane. Okay, let's get it. So don't advise that anybody try to winter camp here at Dolly Sods. It's super hard. They have like all the roads closed off. I tried to get a permit to park somewhere and they don't give out permits this time of year. If you park at Red Creek, you gotta cross the raging river. That's just super dangerous. And I'm not even gonna get into what I had to do to, <laughs> to start here today. Basically, it's really cold and you can tell right now, I'm like up in the frost line. It was really crazy driving in here today. You can see immediately right where the frost starts on top of the uh, high elevation here. It's really crazy, everything's just covered in ice. I feel like it's already colder up here than where I was packing up down there at the parking lot. But I'm not sure really what the plan is today. I mean, I just wanna do a little freestyle and just pick whatever trails look cool, whatever trails aren't flooded, really trying to avoid crossing any big water. Originally I was wearing tights, I switched out for the Revolution race pants. I was gonna wear tights because I kind of figured I'd have to cross some water and I went down to Red Creek and no. <laughs> No way am I doing that today. Most of the time it's like at least knee high, maybe thigh high, and I'm just not feeling it. So I put my warm pants on. I figured they would block a lot of wind. Super, super windy. I actually uh, slept down at Red Creek parking lot last night in my truck. Did a little overlanding in the Yoda. Surprisingly for just sleeping in the back seat of my quad cab, it wasn't bad. I, I actually slept really, really good. I brought a real pillow and a comforter just glamping, glamping it up. The wind was ripping. I kind of figured that today was gonna be rough, even though the forecast doesn't look like it. When you get up into the 3,000 feet elevation here in the sods, it's chilly. I was just gonna say how, uh, it's starting to dry out up here, but it never dries out at the sods, right? Always muddy. I definitely wouldn't be out here if I didn't have waterproof shoes on this time of year. It's so cold. This is probably the coldest trip I've ever started on. I think it down in town it was like in the 20s, but we're above that and there's a lot of wind. It looks toasty because the sun's out, out right now. We have blue skies, but it is really, really cold. And when that wind blows, it's rough. I just passed a guy and he said Blackbird Knob is a muddy river, which is to be expected. So I think I'm gonna try to hook right on, is it like Rocky Ridge Trail or, or Big Stone Cool or something like that? I'm gonna go down that way, hook up on Breath Mountain and do a loop around like Lion's Head. If I find a sweet campsite, probably gonna take it. I'd love to have one up up top here in the sun, so it can be nice and warm today, but I might pay for that tonight. <laughs> it might be super cold, so I might find something a little bit more sheltered. All right, I am at an intersection here. Uh, I'm gonna end up taking big stone coal here to the right. You can still see and hear all the skiers up here, I went up there and watched them a little bit. It's cool, I've never been to a ski resort, I've never went skiing. Did a little bit of snowboarding on my country hills, but ah! I'm here, I'm gonna go down this path. Wait, Breath Mountain's right here. I was gonna take Breath Mountain around and then come up around because I know there's good campsites right here, but there's also good campsites over here. So I could go this way, camp there, and come back this way tomorrow. But I think I'm gonna take Breath Mountain right now. I'm gonna go that way, and then back up here. If you all had noticed, I am rocking the fanny pack today. Don't knock it till you try it, is what everybody told me. 
All right, new plan. <laughs> so I just walked probably a quarter mile or so up Breath Mountain Trail, and I got to thinking, I wasn't planning on having a fire tonight. I did bring a saw and fire starters just in case. Figured I'd get to camp, it'd be so cold, I just wanna get in my quilt and just hang out in my tent. But what I thought was, if I just keep going down Big Stone Coal, hit lion's head and do all the sightseeing first and then double back then maybe i'll have time to uh make a fire while the sun is still out because if the sun goes down it's gonna be chilly i'm definitely not gonna want to do anything back at the little junction here and we're gonna head down big stone coal see what's going on at the lion's head see if there's a party going on wow this oh my gosh this is a river this is the trail folks welcome to dolly sods I'm gonna get across this one. Yep. This is the way. Tell you what, we're gonna see the uh, durability of this 200 ultra fabric on this new backpack here. Trying to go in and around all these little streams, AKA the trail. But yeah, I am scraping my backpack on everything. It is absolutely gorgeous out here today. It was supposed to be cloudy with a little bit of sun and I hardly see a cloud in the sky. It's beautiful out, definitely starting to warm up finally, thank God. I kind of thought it'd be miserable out here all day. Yeah, I mean, if I can get all set up, maybe get a good fire going by the time it really drops and gets cold again, maybe I won't have that miserable of a night. <laughs> I'm definitely glad I brought all my warmest gear though in this, judging from the wind last night. Yeah, hopefully uh, the zero degree and the Thermarus Neo Air will be sufficient tonight. So this section of Big Stone Cool that I'm on right now, I don't think I've ever done this since the very first time I was here and that was uh, 2016. But I'm kind of keeping my eye out for the site that we stayed at that first trip, which like, dude, the best rock chair, sofa recliners ever. Like it was the best campsite ever. I don't know if I'm gonna stay there again cause I just, I kinda just, I like trying new sites. I like staying at different places. One, just cause it's a different experience. Also, so future trips, I always have this like data, like this backlog of all these sites that I remember staying at and I know where they are spot back there in the pines there's tons of campsites in this area i don't remember this area being that plentiful but there is so much uh, you know i have a suspicion that i might end up walking right by the site that i'm looking for because i remember we were really looking hard i think for a, a good site maybe i'm not being that adventurous jumping off trail now oh <gasps> This is it. Is this it? This looks familiar. Yep. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. 2016. And those chairs are decimated. Who messed them up, man? It was like a whole sofa with armrests, everything. They were perfect. Wow, this is a pretty sight. Look at this. All that moss back there. Nice big open area. It's got this, this open field back here that a deer walked right up into our camp last time. There's a lot of pines all around the perimeter too, especially back here. That'd be good for wind block. This is perfect. I'm actually going to probably come back and stay at this site. But anyway, I'm not done hiking. I could set up my gear and go um, explore without it, but 17 pounds. What the heck, I need to work out anyway. Uh, let's hike down here a little ways. Enjoying the cool, crisp air. <laughs> it's beautiful out here. One thing I say in every single Dolly Sods video, don't let the elevation fool you, this trail is a butt kicker. And it's totally true, and I think the reason why I say it in every single video is because every time I come out here, I'm reminded like, holy crap, like this is, 
exhausting. All the rocks and the, like it's how pointy they are, ones you have to step on and jumping from mud, not even jumping, just like mud and water, rocks and roots. It is just such a technical terrain for being like relatively flat that um, it's a real workout. You think like not a lot of elevation, I can do a lot of mileage. I think I do less mileage here than I do on any other normal trail in like Ohio. And we have some decent elevation out there, not super uh, big gains, but like a lot of ups and downs. <laughs> it turned out to be a pretty day. Who would have thought? Honestly, I'm pretty close to Lion's Head now, but um, I don't know. I'm just gonna turn around, go back to camp. I've hiked a good bit already today. I'm happy with it. Did a lot of running around trying to figure this thing out today. I'm just ready to sit down and relax. I can go back to camp here, set up, make a little gear video, show you guys what I'm uh, carrying. I just made that video talking about how you don't, like, don't hike in your puffy jacket, and this morning all I kept thinking is, I wanna hike in my puffy jacket. <laughs> So I guess there maybe there is a time and a place for it. I mean there definitely is. If you can't freeze to death, like for God's sakes, put the thing on. I guess what I should have said is if it's not too cold and you don't really need it, don't chance it. But I definitely thought about hiking in it this morning. Well that might feel of hiking for the day. <laughs> that wind rips through, just cuts right through everything. It's cold. When it's this cold. Oh, I mean, I'm good with not hiking a whole lot. I just want to have a good good camp experience. This wilderness area is so gorgeous. I absolutely love it here. I'm just happy to hike in a few miles, set up camp, and enjoy my time here. So getting to camp pretty early. It's a little before 3 o'clock right now. It'll be quiet. I bet there's probably nobody else up here in like this whole upper section of the sods right now. Mostly due to the fact that they make it so inaccessible in the winter, nobody can come enjoy it. I talked to uh, some of the park rangers this morning actually. Well, I don't think they're rangers. Whatever place <laughs> issues the uh, the permits, they said that the place this place really needs a break in the winter. The pandemic last year, they just had thousands of people coming and chopping down trees and just like decimating the area. They said it was it was a real problem. I leave minimal footprint, leave no trace. Just one guy here. I'll set up right here, same place as I did last time. Actually, I'll set up in this little hole. I don't know if I'm gonna set up in a hole. That could be bad if it rains. So pretty. Look how gorgeous this is. This is paradise for me. It's just amazing. A lot of cool places to explore in here. I think uh, Dolly Sods can be the best place to go or the worst. I think you'll either love it or you'll hate it. I really do. It's got so much to offer, but it'll uh, chew you up and spit you out if you let it. With the terrain and the water and the weather. <laughs> I mean, Dolly Sods has its own weather. Always prepare for the worst. Always prepare for rain. I should be really good with insulation. Now if the wind starts ripping 50 mile an hour, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'd uh, have to tear up in the middle of the night and run it out to the truck. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get set up now. Something I just thought of in this light AF pack, it's got this foam insert on the back that is removable. So you can like use it as a sit pad or something or anything. It's kind of small, but I'm just gonna sit that like right on top of my sleeping pad, like right under where my back or my stomach would go, just to add like a little bit of warmth, maybe like one R value. I thought about either putting it underneath, because I feel like it would move less underneath or on top. Somebody commented in the video and said that in my last one where I doubled up pads that I should have the foam pad on top of the air pad. Uh, leave it in the comments if you, if you know which one is better, but I'm gonna put it on top tonight. Brr, it's getting cold. When that wind blows, it is unbelievably cold. I'm bringing out the big dogs on this one. What sucks is I wanna go get a bunch of firewood 
but I don't want to do it in this coat. I mean, I'll just, I'll just be careful, right? I think my GPS power button's like frozen. <sighs> Can't get it to press in, shut off. There it goes. Yeah, that thing is frozen. It's crazy. I'm so glad I didn't like <laughs> any more. I just had a hunch that I'd, I'd want this little bit extra sunlight because the sun's already on its way down. I tell you what, this has been my most indecisive trip I've ever been on. I don't know what it is. I think it's just every time that cold wind, either I hear it or I, it gets me, like it just changes my mind. And even right now, it's like, why, why, why am I making a fire? Like, do I need to make a fire? Like, is this stupid <laughs> or, or pointless? I don't know. I think just a little bit of fire will up my morale a little bit better. Ugh, I don't even know if this is gonna go though. Everything was so frosted and wet this morning. I don't know, we're gonna see how good these, these fire starters are here. I'll play around with fire a little bit just cause there's nothing better to do. But I, uh, I don't know. If it goes out in 10 minutes and I, I can't keep it going, I'm just gonna head over to the tent, get my quilt and start making dinner. This is what you call the impatient fire. You light the starter and then you run around trying to find firewood. <laughs> Just having fun today. We're just having fun, Bryce. I need some birch. Man, I didn't even see all this stuff. Somebody sp split up some good stuff. Let's get that on there. Sadly, it's all soaking wet. <laughs> all right, baby. Throw one or two more of these puppies in there. I brought a knife, I could split stuff down, but I am too cold, I don't wanna do that. Look at that, that's a fire right there, baby. <gasps> it went out. Not my proudest moment, <laughs> it's okay. Just something to pass the time. Okay, so, I'm gonna go in the tent, wrap up in that bag, start warming it up, and I'm gonna spend about the next 14 hours in my, in my shelter. <laughs> I'm abandoning the fire pit for the night. My toes are actually warm. I figured waterproof shoes would be a little bit warmer just cause they, they're not gonna be as breathable. But I didn't expect to actually have warm feet. I never have warm feet. I'm in good spirits right now. Don't get me wrong. But this is a pretty bad trip. <laughs> like I said, the most indecisive trip I think I've ever had. I just had a moment of should I just, should I just bail? Should I just go? Like, why am I even, like, I'm cold now. I'm gonna sit in this thing for 14 or 16 hours. That frost this morning, everything was covered. I mean, I've never seen frost like that before. And it's probably gonna do that again tomorrow. So I think it will be absolutely gorgeous. And I wanna, I wanna the experience. I want the experience of it. Um, I'm convinced I'll stay warm. Just a little bit of boredom. <laughs> But uh, we'll we'll see what's what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna spend a lot of hours in here tonight. Ugh. I just took a nap for about an hour, and the wind woke me up. You can I can just hear it ripping across the sky. It's insane. And. It's, my feet were warm and now my feet are actually cold. My feet are right where the wind's blowing, so I think it's kind of sucking the, the heat right out of my foot box. Normally, my, no matter how cold it is, even if my feet are cold in this foot box or this bag, uh, they always warm up. And the fact that they're cold right now is kind of unnerving, so I might get out and put some logs um, to close the gaps over there. Wow. That wind is so cold. Packing up tomorrow will suck. <laughs> Dang, here comes the wind again. I'm gonna get up and uh, block these holes in the bottom of my tarp. I even put my fleece pants just half on over my feet 
just to uh, wrap them up a little bit. And that, that didn't even help. So I gotta do stuff. I'm gonna be wearing every layer tonight, that's for sure. But I gotta do something. It's probably gonna drop another 10 or 20 degrees. There we go. Now we're sealed up. Wind did something. I uh, wish I had more experience in high winds to really know how to plan and prepare for it. I mean, my core is cold. I'm cold right now, like up here. And I have so many layers on. I've never been bundled like this before on a camping trip, ever. If I thought, if, if I thought this was gonna Man, I don't know. I was just about to say, like, if I thought my life is in danger, like, I would totally call it. So, I really don't. Like, if I was cold, cold, I'd be bailing. And I'm thinking about bailing. It's pretty out. The sun going down is really pretty. like cooking I just want a snack hmm there it is again the thought of bailing it's tough Dorito three days I used to eat these like back in high school and they came back out with them I'm hooked it's gonna be a downer of a video I feel like sorry <laughs> All right, so here's my concern. The low for tonight, 18 degrees. And that is in town, like not up on top of the mountain here. The high today was 40. Once again, that's in town. When the sun was out and everything today up here, I don't think, it definitely was not above freezing. So I wanna say that 40 up on top of the mountain was actually 20, five maybe maybe on in its hottest point i don't know but then you got the wind chill so my concern is how cold is it actually going to get up here tonight and am i prepared for that it's not that cold right now and i'm pretty cold so the sun's already kind of on its way down but i got another hour or two if it drops 15 degrees 20 degrees and it uh stays like it is blowing right now Ugh, it's gonna suck it's gonna really suck i have so many emotions right now my head's like playing games with me because it's like when i think about bailing like am i thinking about bailing because it'd be nice to get warm get home early and i could do other things that are comfortable <laughs> or is it i'm thinking about bailing because i think my life is in danger i don't know I do a lot of 20 degree Fahrenheit camping. Like, I feel like every time I go winter camping, it's always 20. Oh, burr, there's the wind coming in from another angle. This feels so far beyond anything I've ever done. It's, uh, I'm just not prepared for it, I guess. I don't even know what I would do to pre prepare for this, because my feet and hands, I can't even keep them warm when it's 40 out. I don't know. I think I'm out. Dolly Sods, you win again. <laughs> this place, I love it here. <laughs> I really do. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a good learning experience. I mean, it definitely is. Am I really out? <laughs> the most indecisive trip ever? Okay. Let's do this. I know I wouldn't die. I know I'd be okay. When I first started camping, I shivered all night long one time on a... Uh, a foam pad that literally froze. It was not the right type of foam. I am just terrified for the morning teardown. Because that ice this morning was crazy. Enough complaining. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Bailing.
like a glove, baby. Didn't put my coat in there, should I? I'm leaving it on. Hypocrite brace. Coming at you. You know what though? You guys watching? I'm just learning. You can learn something from my mistakes. And that makes me happy. We're out. Quitters Club. Okay. I bet you anything, if I had not come down last night and slept in my truck, I'd be staying tonight. <laughs> I guarantee you that. So pretty. Just like a day hike, right? I just drove down here for a day hike. That's all I did. That's all I did, Bryce. I'm gonna call this not a failed trip, but a, a great learning experience. <laughs> that also sucked. Oh, it's getting colder. Because a lot of this was not this frozen this morning. Now that I've walked a lot, I've kind of warmed up. So I decided I'm going back. I'm going to set up again. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that would go with the theme, though. The indecisive one. Harden up nicely. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. If you want to see me fail on more videos, hit that little notification bell so I can let you know my, my next big mistake. And I'll see you guys on the next one. So much emotion. <laughs> All right, little trip debrief for you guys here. Not that I feel like it really needs a debrief, but I did figure some things out and I figured it was beneficial to throw that in the video. So first off, thanks for making it to the end. Really appreciate it. This was kind of a long, boring video in my opinion. But anyway, what I think happened, I get in my truck. Normally I shed my layers and I, and I drive home with the heater. I'm usually pretty good after cold trips. This trip, I actually left all my layers on that I hiked in for the entire ride home. And I actually didn't really realize this until I was getting really close to home. Even with the heater on, all my layers, I was still cold. I actually did not uh, warm up my core until I got home, got a shower and like bundled up on the couch. There was definitely something going on there. And what I think it was building up to this trip, I was actually sick for like eight days. I may have had the thing, but I actually felt okay for probably uh, maybe two days, maybe even like three days uh, prior to this trip. I felt like I wasn't sick anymore. But when I woke up after my nap there in the woods, uh, normally I always wake up warm, like toasty warm, you don't wanna get out of your bag. I woke up cold. So something just didn't quite feel right. And I really feel like something from the thing was still in my system and it wasn't letting my core like fully get warmed up. Like that puffy jacket I have is super warm. Like I was so bundled. So that's basically what I uh, think happened there. I did get one like nasty comment on my last video about how I tapped out. You know, I mean, that's, that's to be expected. Trust me, when I'm bailing on a trip, I know I'm gonna get some heat, which is fine. I've been doing this a while. I, I handle it professionally. So I kindly responded. I was sick soul. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Just a little insider information for you guys. Have a happy Sunday and I'll see you on the next one. I'll tell you one thing. I'm not sleeping in that truck tonight. <laughs> Trekology pillow. I don't know if I like it that much. And I know you're thinking, Bryce, you bought a shitty pillow. All right, now I'm mad. Poked a hole in my brand new freaking coat. And one feather popping out. It's not bad. I'm going to put a piece of tape on that though. See the frost line up there, maybe? Always still love Dolly Sods, even though I kind of hate it. Oh, that stop sign came up quick.